Have you ever thought that maybe you could sell your home without the help of a real estate agent and save huge amounts of money on your commission? Do you have what it takes? Some people are very successful at doing this. What are the seven things that you must know before selling your home as a for sale by owner? To find out, stick around for the full story. Hi, I am Gary and I live with my wife Rosemary in Greater Victoria on Southern Vancouver Island in BC, Canada. Stay until the end of this video to find out how you can download my five page handout which covers the seven important things discussed today. It can be very appealing to sell your home as for sale by owner or FSBO. After all, you'll save lots of money if you don't hire a real estate agent, right? Here are the top seven things you should ask yourself before you decide that for sale by owner selling is right for you. Number one, do you understand the market? Do you know how to prepare your home for sale? Do you feel confident that you know what buyers are looking for in today's market? Do you know which things need to get fixed up front and which things that you can skip? Do you know how to make your home as visually appealing as possible once it goes on the market? Number two, can you come up with an asking price? Do you feel confident coming up with an asking price for your house? Overpricing your house is usually the kiss of death. There is nothing worse than cleaning like a crazy person for weeks and listing the house for sale only to be met with no one coming to look. Listing your house at too high of a price will result in a lack of showings. And even if you do come up with a price, ask yourself, when your buyers try to get a mortgage, will the bank appraise your house for that price? Do you have the computations to back up that price? Don't just look at that Zillow estimate. Remember, this is just a computer generated ballpark estimate and it can't be taken as fact. Number three. Are you familiar with legal disclosures? Do you know which property disclosures are legally required in your area? Do you know how to fill out those forms? One of the most common lawsuits in real estate industry is from buyers who bought a house and alleged that the seller failed to tell them material facts about the property prior to the purchase. Nothing will ruin your day faster than getting sued. Do you know how to market your home? Do you know how to make it look amazing online with professional photos, aerial drone shots, virtual tours, and floor plans? Do you know where to advertise it? Do you know how to get it in front of as many eyeballs as possible? And do you feel like you could do a good job promoting it in all avenues? Number five, are you a good negotiator? So, are you a good negotiator? There are a few typical types of buyers who approach for sale by owner properties. Usually this includes investors looking to pay pennies on the dollar because they will buy the house in its as is condition and pay cash very quickly. Other prospective buyers, including those who are not credit worthy, will ask you to do a lease with an option to purchase down the road. If you need the money from the sale of this house now because you're buying another one, you will not be able to accommodate them, so now you've wasted your time showing them the property. Other buyers will write low offers because they know you are not paying a realtor a commission to sell it. Since you are saving the money on the commission, they feel justified about offering you less as well. Number six, can you manage having lots of strangers in your home? Are you comfortable letting strangers into your house repeatedly? You don't want to hover over showings because if the buyers can't speak freely about what they think about in the home, they will not be able to imagine themselves living there. But if you're not present, things could easily be taken. It takes skill to be present while still allowing your potential buyers enough privacy to discuss among themselves. Number seven, can you deal with low appraisals affecting your buyer's financing? Do you know what to do in the case of a buyer's low bank appraisal of your property and how it affects the buyer's ability to obtain mortgage financing? What about if the home inspector flags items for repair 
or if title issues arise during the sales period. Will you be able to save the sale? Well, if you're confident in the seven areas mentioned above, then maybe selling for sale by owner might be a good choice for you. However, keep this in mind. Most for sale by owner sellers still end up paying a percentage of the home's sales price in commission, usually a minimum of 3%, as agents representing buyers will often want to show your property to their client, but only if you pay their fee. You'll still be paying a commission to the agent who brings a ready, willing, and able buyer. It's not much more to hire an agent to represent you in the transaction as well. The amount of money that you save on the commission is often minimal after paying a photographer, advertising costs, and other marketing costs, not to mention all your time spent coordinating the sale. Also note that for sale by owner homes typically sell for less than homes listed with a real estate agency. So what you save in commission, you may lose on the actual sales price. Lastly, by not listing your home on the Multiple Listing Service or MLS, you severely limit the number of people who will even know that your home is for sale. By reaching fewer buyers, you will get fewer offers. Agents don't have easy access to for sale by owner properties, and the only ones who will call you are usually the ones trying to list your home, not bringing buyers to it. So to wrap this up, I'd like to tell you all about my personal experience as a for sale by owner seller. In 1986, I purchased my first home in Victoria. Six years later, with two children, we were filling the pinch and needed to buy a larger house. We did find a nice four-bedroom house to buy. I thought, I can sell my older house myself and set out to do this. Well, I spent over a month with dozens of people coming in and out of my house. I think every neighbor in a two-block radius came for a look. Every time I asked people about their jobs, because I was trying to qualify them to see if they had any money to buy my house, they told me to mind my own business. The most interest I got was from real estate agents trying to have me list my house with them. I did not have a clue and I did not have any success. So finally one day I just got tired of all this and I called up my past agent Rob who had sold me the house six years earlier. In four days he not only sold the house but I received an offer over asking price and then I happily made arrangements to move into my new larger house. I realized then I really did not know nearly as much as Rob and his professional experience made all the difference and ended my painful attempt to sell my house myself. So what do you think? If you want to sell your home faster and for more money, enough to pay a real estate agent's commission, it might just make sense to save yourself all the work and hire a professional who does this work every day to assist you. Rosemary and I would be pleased to take this load off of you and help you with a successful sale of your house. If you would like our five page handout, Is Selling for Sale by Owner Right for You? You can find the link in the description below. You will also find a link to an online calendar to book either a phone or Zoom call if you would like to discuss this video or any other real estate topic that has been presented in the past on our YouTube videos. If you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up, share with a friend, press the subscribe button, and touch the notification bell to be notified of our weekly video uploads on Wednesdays. Finally, have a look at the video below which I think you will like. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.